Hello, my name is Kayla Mayberry and I'm a sixth grader at Riverdale Elementary. I was wondering if families in had more similar <laughs> fingerprints than non-family members and I thought that they would be more similar because um, the muscle and fat underneath your skin has something to do with DNA and then they're created in the womb. them put their right thumb onto a ink pad and then place it on a piece of paper that I had their number by and then I had their name on a different sheet of paper and I had them press it into their slot and then once it dried I took a hand magnifying glass and I put it over top of it and if I needed another one I put it on top of that and then I analyzed it to see what kind of main fingerprint they had and then after I got that I put the type of fingerprint they have on the paper beside their name. The, there are around six different type of fingerprints that are uh, like main type of ones. There are some that aren't like common, there are very rare ones, but they are not on here. The main one that I found was a right loop, which it's different from a left loop because it comes in from the right side of their finger um, rather than the left side, which is a left loop. And then there's a double loop, which there's like a right or left loop, and then there's one going on top of it, which isn't very common either, but it's more common than the other ones that aren't on there. There's a tented arch, which is, it kind of looks like a tent, and it's like, just like curved up into itself. And then a normal arch is kind of like a mountain curve over. And a whirl is like a, kind of looks like a tornado at the top, except for it's just one circle around itself. I found out that the right loop was the most common out of all of my participants when there was, there was like around 50 some. And I found out that the right loop was common throughout almost all of them. They all, all pairs or all families had a right loop in the family, pretty much. And only five of the families had a 100% match where they were all right loops or all arches or plain whirls. And um, there were some that were like a 50%, but that was with a family that um, had four people, so I did which ones were the same. And I went based off of which, how many right loops were in the family because there were, that was the most common throughout the whole participants. And some of them had like 67 and 60, so I just counted those as not really inherited because of they weren't a full 100. Um, I did get a chance to get two sets of twins. I, um, one was both males and they both had a right loop and the other set was a male and a female and the male had a right loop and the female had a plain whirl. In conclusion, I found that my hypothesis was not supported and that if they are inherited that they won't, there would be a very small chance that they would be the same at like as parents or grandparents because the right loop was the most common throughout all of my participants even though there was a couple that I also think that environment has something to do with it because the fat and muscle underneath the skin of a fingerprint has to do with pressure in the womb that makes the fingerprint look the way it does.